Hello all you Christmas Crusaders, this is Gwen Juvenal here with a Christmas Take Two. Now what's a Take Two, you might ask? Well, I know that you're all familiar with the film industry and when you do a scene, uh, a lot of times they do takes or they capture the scene once and then they retake the scene. Well, sometimes you have many takes in order to get the final product that you want. So rather than thinking about a project as a pass or fail, you can look at it like, oh, I just have the opportunity to make a take two on this idea. It will give you the chance to grow as an artist and as a creative person and build your self-esteem too. So behind me, I've got the wreath that I made for Christmas here. And you can see that the room that it's in is kind of blue, but it's got all kinds of Christmas decorations that are bright and happy. And I wanted to tie all those colors in together. So what I did was I took the beginnings of a wreath and I wrapped around certain colors of Christmas balls. Well, I'm thinking that it looks a little bare and I'd like it to look a little fuller and mature. So what I'm gonna do is gonna add a few more balls in those empty spaces and see if it makes it work better for me. All right, so I've got my wreath pulled down onto the table and I have a my extra silver balls just handy here. I thought I would just insert them into the blank spaces, but as I look around and see how much blank space there was, I realized I don't think I have enough balls to do that. But also, I just happen to have handy some lovely garland that I love and chose for another project and just made sure to have a little extra on hand. When you find something you really love, it's great to have a little bit of extra just in case you want to add a little project that might tie into your other work and create a great mood. So I'm gonna use some of this to wrap around and that means you can see, look at the bow. It won't really contrast as much as I want so I might come up with a red bow or some other bow. So here I go, I'm gonna wrap it around the wreath and then add a different bow and then we'll compare the two. Welcome back, you Christmas Crusaders. I wrapped my wreath with that blue and silver garland. I had three segments of it at 12 feet long to cover this 24 inch wreath and it just worked perfectly. Now that was really fluffy garland. The dollar store or other places may have really thin garland. Just make sure to get quite a bit extra. When you have that thick garland, it creates the fullness that you like and I found that it's often cheaper to just go with the thicker garland and it creates the look that you want. And now I've added this nice red bow. It's got that silver edging that works really well with this piece. So I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna put it up, place it on the window and then give you a shot of both of them together and you can decide which one you like better. This is Gwen Juvenile signing off as the Christmas Crusader. Please write your comments below. I'd love to see any projects you have where you redid an old project and you did a take two. Please feel free to post down below. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe. It makes a big difference in all of us being able to share and inspire each other. All right, good luck with your take twos.